Hello and welcome. My name is Tara and today I'm going to be talking about the brand new bunk beds in The Sims. They were just added today and I'm super excited about it. I'm also very excited for whatever the update to the traits is that uh, was mentioned yesterday. But today we're just going to be talking about bunk beds and I'm going to be showing you 10 ideas that I had, 10 ways to use bunk beds in The Sims. So let's just get to the game. So we're gonna be starting with this kind of disgusting monstrosity that I've created yesterday in preparation. I've just got this weird situation going on where it's just 10, the 10 rooms are all the 10 ideas I have that I'm gonna show you. So there's a little sneak peek um, <laughs> of what we're gonna be doing. So I looked in the kids category and that's apparently not where the bunk beds are. They are just under bedrooms. We've got individual top bunks and then we've got full bunk beds. My next idea, pretty straightforward, is just using the bunk beds to create a prison. Some of these ideas are pretty weird and out there and some of them are just ideas for fun ways that you can have bunk beds um, be useful in your game. So for my prison concept, I feel like you probably just use like the gray <laughs> version. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I like that they did include a metal bed frame version because um, it works real great, really nicely for a prison. And then my third idea is a summer camp because I feel like you always have bunk beds in summer camp cabins, right? Um, so I decorated this cute little summer camp cabin room and I'm gonna pop this bad boy in there. I feel like it'd be really fun to have a bunch of kids staying in a house and like kind of pretend like it's a little summer camp type thing. And then this is just a beach house. Um, I know a lot of the beach houses that I went to with my family had bunk beds in the kids rooms. Thought that could be another fun use of the bunk bed. And then of course probably what we all thought of when we found out that there was going to be bunk beds you can make a college dorm. Since they have the loft bed option, um, it very nicely slots things into there. And it just looks so natural. Like this looks like, this looks real to me. <laughs> Let me grab my sim and I'll see if you can actually use this dresser while it's under here. Okay, so you can use the dresser. So that's an, a great functional way of using bunk beds in your dorms. Here's the update. <laughs> you can successfully use this bed the way it's laid out with the dresser under it but this bed here i just had to move it forward and kind of out of the way a little bit so it looks a little weird here but it's not that weird functioning bunk and functioning desk if you set it up like this this looks a little wonky but i was thinking i'll have to again i'm gonna have to test it and see if this actually works but using a full-sized bed or a like a queen bed on the bottom bunk um curious to see if that will work i know like the the ladder obviously intersects it which is not great i think you'll be able to f use one of these beds if i do it like this and probably not both so yeah i guess the the double bed at the bottom is functional like this but i don't think the top will be because you wouldn't be able to use the ladder i think this one will actually work correctly so putting a couch underneath it is my next idea i think both of them should function just fine um with this one so let's just try it out so yeah my next idea is having a couch under it and it looks like it functions just fine oh let's make this couch work will it be as simple as that but like this okay she's not waving she's not doing the thing so i think she's good for it now let's try the couch this could be really great for tiny living situations put the couch there and then you could put a tv on the other side oh wait i just thought of a new idea we've decided this or we've determined that the bed the bottom bed works for that but the the top bed doesn't so let's try something else. Let's try putting a coffee table or a console table under here and see if we can get a TV. Okay, that works. Can you take a nap on the bed? No. <laughs> oh, it's so frustrating. Okay, it's working. It's working, everyone. All right, it's not too bad. I mean, 
We had to move it like half a tile away-ish, which is not ideal, but it could still help in a really small space. We've got a couch here and a TV under the other bed. So I was trying to do 10 ideas and we've got a few extras, which is good because I'm afraid that some of these might not work so well. So, all right, let's see. This idea that we've got here, let's see if this will work. Let's do it all the way up here. Okay, she can use it now. So you gotta move it a little away from the wall or a little bit away from where the flowers are once you put them down, but it functions. And I actually wanna try another version of this where I use debug plants. I, I'm gonna cut that all out, but I was just toiling away in debug trying to find something that would work here and I, this might work even if it wasn't a debug item, but who knows, maybe it wouldn't. I mean, it's very finicky with this kind of thing. So like this, oh yeah, this flower box, yeah, she won't go through it, but this planter that I got from debug it works just fine. Um, so just play around with it, but these ones, like I said, are not debug though. So some plants, will work if you move your, you can either put plants under it or whatever you want under it and possibly have to move the bunk bed away a little bit for it to be able to function. But you can see with the this debug planter that I found, I don't need to do that. It can sit straight on top of it and it will work. Um, so that's up to you, which of those you'd prefer, I guess. I do have one more thing that I wanna try before I move on to some that I feel a little more confident in. <laughs> I wanted to try putting a table under there. I'm doubtful about it. No, okay. What about just one? Ooh. All right, we've got our eight, yeah, our eighth concept. Okay, the table works too. All right, number eight. Another one that I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but I just thought it'd be fun to try. So here we've got Drake and Josh's bedroom. The thing of it being Drake and Josh's bedroom is a little bit of a goof, but um, basically you can do this thing where you make the platform uh, the height of the bed and then you can have this little loft area. I don't think that the loft area will be functional. I'll try it in a second, but I think this will probably be just dead space, but it's just, it's for aesthetics. Yeah, you can't use the stuff up there. <laughs> That's to be expected, but I was I was hoping that it could be possible. Um, so there you've got that. You can raise a platform and make like a fake little loft situation, which I know that you can do real lofts, but this way you have a ladder. I think there's also actually a ladder in the game, but not, but not in the base game. So you can make it like this and have the ladder be part of it. I don't know. I think it's kind of, I think it's kind of cool. And then for our last part, we've got an RV. So we're going back now to just like ideas for fun ways to incorporate bunk beds and fun builds that you can do surrounding bunk beds. That's it for my 10 ideas. I'll go through them all again real quick. The thing I did at the beginning with the kids room where I tried to make it look like there was a playhouse on the top basically, I would say that was a bit of a bust. So I'm not gonna include that. I'm just gonna say, of course, right off the bat, you've got your first concept, which is just using the bunk beds to make a kid's bedroom. And then for the second, we've got another pretty basic idea, just creating a jail cell or creating a full on prison, I guess. This is another idea that doesn't change the concept of the bunk bed or anything, but I just thought it was a fun idea for how you could incorporate them in your builds is a summer camp. And then we've got a beach house, another time when you see a lot of bunk beds. Let me go over here to just wrap up the list of basic ideas for times when you could use a bunk bed. Uh, we've got an RV or a trailer. I think that would be a fun build to base around using a bunk bed. For the second half, we've got some interesting ways to use the lofted beds and stuff that you can put under them. You can put a desk under there and it's a functioning desk. Um, she can use the computer and everything like that. The only problem was for this, I, I did have to move the bed like half a tile away from the edge of the wall because it just, if you have it fully on top of the desk, they can't climb on top of the bed, which is really frustrating. Um, I really wish that that wasn't a thing because a desk under your lofted bed is such a common thing to do in college that 
it would be really cool if you could do that. <laughs> um, and then for my other college dorm lofted bed, I put a dresser under it. And this one is functional without moving it that much away. I think I might've moved it off the wall a tiny bit, but it's still pretty much flush with it. And it looks natural, this looks normal. And both the bed and the dresser are functional. There's another one. So we've got even more than 10 now. You can use the mini fridge under the bed. So that's exciting. We've got three ways to use it in a college dorm. Next up, we've got two more ways to put stuff underneath the lofted beds. We've got, you can put a TV as long as it's on a small surface and you can watch the TV from the couch, which I've also placed under a bunk bed. And then we've got putting plants under the bed. I think that could be kind of a nice look. You'll just have to mess around seeing which plants work. The next use of a bunk bed is actually placing a little table under it and just one chair. You can't fit more than one chair, but this is functional. You can have one chair and you could have your sim eat there or probably use their, I guess use their computer there just like they did at the desk. And then my last concept, very, you know, I feel like we've all been asking for this in The Sims is Drake and Josh's bedroom. This is probably what you all came here looking for um, just to see if it was possible. And guess what? It is. So <laughs> Drake and Josh's bedroom or, you know, any other use of having the bed intersect with a platform and sort of look like it's sitting on top of the platform. The platform stuff does not work, but the bed functions. Um, Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these 10 plus ideas. Hope you're enjoying the bunk bed so far and see you next time. Bye.